Activity 8R, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> we're going to open the file that is called worklocation.csv. And we can see, as you can see here in this file, that it has employee names, project name. What we want to do, we're going to use the ifs. Ifs function is going to use multiple uh, conditions. If we have, let's say, if it is equal to alpha, then I want to see the location in London. And if it is equal to beta, it's supposed to appear as Milan. And if it is uh, written gamma, then it's supposed to be in Tunisia. Then what we're going to do, we're going to put this function ifs. And here, as you can see, the logical test and the value, and then it can keep increasing. So the first value is if the first cell is equal to alpha, and it's supposed to be between double quotation because it is a text, then it's supposed to equal in, it's supposed to appear as it is in London, the location. The next one again, the same cell, if it is equal to uh, beta, then it's supposed to appear in Milan. The next one, it's supposed to be this one, equal to gamma. Then it's supposed to be in Tunis. And here you go. And let's replicate it. We have till here. After replication, you can see there are two values here are not appearing because we don't have their project name. So in this case, what we can do, even though the question didn't ask, but let's do it because it's explained over here. We have three types of error trappings. One is called is error function, if error function, and there is a third one. Let me explain all of them in this one. Okay, one, we have it as called is error, how you can use it. I created here just a few functions and I tried to put some errors on purpose. And let's try to apply them. So is error. I'm going to delete it and show you. So, is error, and it usually asks for one argument, which is the value. Let's say this is the value. Here, I'm not having any error, so that's why it's rep uh, uh, reporting to me back again that it is false, that there is no error. Only if there is an error, it's going to report back to you true. Uh, but there is an issue with it, the NA functions or NA fo uh, false value, it's not able to return it as you can see here it's not returning it as a false for the other they can return it as an error the next one is a bit much better it can return all type of errors so as you can see you just can say is error and you put the cell in it and it's going to return it to you all of them except the first one was correct if error it is much better that the first one will return the cell for you or the value you have to put it. The next one you have to put the text in it. So what will be the text in it? You have to write it down so whenever there is an error, you can represent it. As you can see here, I put it, correct the function, so it's showing over here. So those are the three types of errors that we can try, use them to trap them. So in this case here, I can use if error or is error, any of them I can use. I can use is error or if error. This is a shortcut of error, so you it, remember it does not return the NA. So in this case, I'm going to write down, I'm going to put, I'm, let's start with the first one. I'm going to trap this whole sentence and I'm going to put if error. So this is my whole sentence as a value, comma, put the issue. So you can say, as you can say, project. Project location and on. And then don't forget to save this file. Or oh, first of all, let me replicate it. And as you can see here, it's showing project location is unknown or project location unknown. So don't forget to save it as 8R and see you in the next task.